Welcome to Horn Trader on YouTube. Today, my special guest, all the way from Paris, France, a beautiful Queen on Monopole flugelhorn. Uh, serial number 41116. I'm thinking it's probably made around 1975, maybe earlier. It's hard to tell. Flu uh, Queen Ons are kind of an enigma uh, shrouded in mystery <laughs> um, so um, monopole that to me means one piece bell as you can see from the flare all the way down to the upper branch here one piece factory silver this one doesn't have the trigger but makes it lighter doesn't really need a trigger I just demonstrated some C sharps low D's sounds pretty good uh, it's got this uh, little protective band like all Queen Ons do all the way down to the spit valve here. Keeps it from being dented. This horn's in perfect condition except for a little bit where the silver is worn. And I think that's probably, you know, a holding where people hold it. Yeah, because I hold it that way. I'm playing a, um, a GR mouthpiece that uh, a friend of mine gave me. A client, rather. Friend. Still a friend. And I like it. A little big for me, but it still has a beautiful tone. Perfect for this horn. Uh, this horn has had a um, Bob Reese alignment and Kim Clean. Incredibly fast valves. And uh, Bob Reese uh, patented valve alignment. The bore size is 413, so it's kind of like the Goldilocks of bore sizes. I find some of the bigger, larger horns a little too tough to manage, and then the smaller ones like 406 feel a little tight. You know, you can't really blow, blow down to them. Maybe a little high.
anyhow, you can tell it's got a beautiful tone. Uh, you can find it in the flugelhorn section of horntrader.com. Come and visit me. We're close to the airport, downtown city, clubs, Tijuana, Shamu, trains, planes, and automobiles. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.